This is the, the things right. that you're going to try today. Now these are my, I love these. I love Indonesian cigarettes, they're the best. I like the old man, I don't know who he is. Uh, these other ones I've never heard of. Gudang uh, Garam, I know that one. Never, I never never saw that in the US. Um, I just like you, let's see how this is. Semporina? Semporna? Semporna. okay. The, the packaging I think is pretty cool. These definitely feel like the most expensive. They got the gold, they're wider, a little bit nicer feel. These look a little bit cheap. I don't know, it looks like they haven't updated the packages since the 1970s maybe. Seems like some Chinese deity. <laughs> These things are strong though. How many, how many 31 milligrams of tar, 22 milligrams of nicotine. Wow, that's that's like three three or four cigarettes worth of stuff. Oh man, uh, I'm guessing that's the nicotine leaching out uh, of the tobacco. They're packed really tight, it's good. Good to have a nice pack uh, in the cigarettes. Smell good? Oh, sweet. They, they almost have a licorice smell like anise. Hear the crackling? That's good. They're a lot um, more numbing. There's, it seems like there's more clove. There's yeah. like quite a bit of clove in here. They're pretty numbing. Uh, not super sweet. Oh, we got beers. Sweet. Helps us to smoke more. Yeah. <laughs> it's relatively smooth. You blow through the nostril. It doesn't burn too much. It's good. Yeah. Seems pretty good quality. Got a good crackling sound. What do you call that? The Cretec? Yeah. Cretec. The Cretec. Yeah. And that's a onomatopoeia, it's a sound word, right? It's an onomatopoeia word. We say like crackle, we like in English we say crackle. Yeah. We say crack. That's kind of cool. I find mm -hmm. yeah, These are well well packed. I, sometimes with the clothes you get the, the spark shooting off. Yeah. I'm waiting for that to happen. Yeah. We'll see. It's not really burning fast. It yeah, out. very slow. Very slow. Because it's Chinese cigarette, you already didn't have <laughs> Yeah. I definitely like the, the look of this cigarette too. The filter, very unique filter color and the, the stamp on it. It looks, I mean, they're very rugged looking, but they have a, like a classic kind of yeah, kind of feel I like. Classic. I really wish these were still legal in the US because I, I enjoy them every now and again. Let's see if we get magic powers. Sampori, ah, uh, this is Indonesian. It says mild, so. Samporna. Samporna. Samporna, yes. I can read in Indonesian. This is oh wow, fourteen milligram tar and one one gram. Yeah, milligram. fourteen. That's that's half of the gum. Yeah, but this one might be have different flavor. Maybe something. different. Yeah. You don't need to pack them. There if, they already packed. Well, if they're really tight roll, you don't want to pack them. I think right. Do you, do they pack in Indonesia? Do they pack the cigarettes? Yeah, we, we, we oh, do. You do? Ourselves. Really? Yeah. You look when you need to open it. You have to. You have to break the seal. You have to break the tax yeah. That way you can't reuse them. Well, these are much thinner. Much yeah, thinner. Yeah, much thinner. So I'm wondering if the mild is just coming from the gauge on these cigarettes now. This definitely looks more like a traditional cigarette, despite the outside packaging looking old. The inside cigarette looks more modern. Yeah. Not getting any crackle, really. I got, I got no crackle on mine. Yours is cracking. I saw some sparks there. It's broken. You gave me a defective cigarette. This is one to speak. Yeah, no, 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 no cretech, no, no crackling. Yours is going crazy. This is sexy. I'm just. You didn't get it. No, it's good. I transferred it to you. Oh. Hmm. It's a lot harsher. Yeah. But it's definitely not. For being mild, it's not as it's kind of stinging in the back of the throat a little bit. Forgot uh, to ask, how much is this? Not sure. Let me take a look. Um, no, this one is not enjoyable. <coughs> Hurt in the back of my throat there. This one is not enjoyable. It's almost like two dollars. What about this? It's, uh, it must be cheaper. This one. This We're is going like in more expensive. This one? Yeah. I'm guessing the crackling is a good thing because the name of the cigarette is Crotex. So yeah. I'm, I'm I'm guessing you want that sound, and I'm not getting it. So maybe we have a little inconsistency. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this one out. I'll try another one. Yeah, I got the crackles. Got the crackles there. Okay. I think I got a bad cigarette. This one's better, but that makes me wonder about the quality control. Yeah. It's not as harsh. I can definitely it's got a better flavor. I don't think there was much clove in that one. I think I just got tobacco. It must have been not very well uh, manufactured. Yeah. But so yeah, I would rather to buy this one. Well, the price for two bucks that's still ridiculously cheap. So yeah, I, I don't know. know. I mean, is that, that a, an expensive price in is. Indonesia? So in the US, I, I can't even get two dollar cigarettes. <coughs> oh, my, yeah, in my country, the cheapest cigarettes are around uh, around nine dollars. How much did you rate this one? 
I, you know, if someone gave one to me, I would smoke it, but I wouldn't be excited. I definitely wouldn't buy it at the store. Mm -hmm. right. Given the other cigarettes I've had, the Guten Garm I would pick over this. The Jar might definitely smoke over this. It's still my favorite. Maybe I'm just nostalgic. I don't say it's bad. Maybe a five. A five out of ten would be. What about this, the Guten Garm? Guten Garm, I, uh, right now I'm going to say eight, eight out of ten. I kind of want to taste the other ones and see where we're, we're at. I really enjoy that one. I think it's yeah, it's pretty good. It, it's a good contrast between the Guten Garm and the Dijarm. Both good quality, it seems like. And one's really sweet and that one's not as sweet. But we're getting a good flavor, different contrast. So. All right, wash it down, I'll get a beer and you'll have one. I have, I have some, about 10 or 11 years ago, these used to be legal in the United States. I would smoke these somewhat regularly. Yeah, let's do a Russian roulette. Let's see. You can feel the uh, <laughs> This isn't Russian roulette, I'll do like the shell game. Let's see here. All right, I, I knew that one was easy. But hey, it was too easy to pick.